All right, welcome back. This is going to be a quick demonstration on using Android phones with a USB hub and connecting it to a TV so you can watch Netflix without using Wi-Fi or Chromecast. So basically I've got one of these USB hubs. It does have Ethernet, but I'm going to be using a another USB Ethernet adapter onto this so that it works uh, because that connection is a bit not too great. Now I've got a HDMI connection here and I'll connect up my USB Ethernet and that's my power there so and this end connects into the Android phone. Now I'll just illustrate that I don't have Wi-Fi running and that's background RF mainly from the neighbor's Wi-Fi and TV's on I've got the Android phone and I'll connect this up. And now what should happen is the screen should come up. So you'll get the display. There we go. And I should also get Ethernet if it's working. So you can sort of see here Android and the two arrows that just popped up is the Ethernet. So everything's running off that setup. Now theoretically I don't need this, but I'm using it because the Ethernet port at the back of the adapter isn't working properly. All right, so I'll just start Netflix and go to refresh. And my internet's dropped off. Here we go, it's coming back on again. Okay, now and I can just scroll through, select something. I won't play it due to copyright reasons, but there we go, it's already booted up. So, and the screen's locked, unlock controls, escape, and I'll just select something random just to show that it is working. Okay, you can fast forward, stop. And that's the same for uh, Prime Video as well. So if you guys use Amazon Prime Video, you've got the option there. And I'll cancel that. So this is only for a demonstration, but it is pretty good. And all the audio goes through the HDMI into the TV and you know you can I think you can adjust it here without a problem. Exit playing. And literally, you could web browse off your TV as well. So no, I've lost my signal. Just insert it again. So this adapter is a really old one. Uh, actually, I'll show you now what it is. So it's it's from JB Hi-Fi. You can get this brand, the Sateki brand, and it's basically a USB-C connector with. USB hubs and HDMI. That's the Ethernet port there and the power. So this one's fairly old, so that's why the connections aren't that great. Uh, I've used it a lot across my laptops and phones. So, you know, it's probably time for a new one. But uh, that's been a good five, six years worth of use. So that's why the, the connections aren't that great at the moment, but it does work and there's no Wi-Fi needed. So just reconnect that again and everything should come back up. So you really sort of have to look at the internet to come back on and I'll just show you. It's my lost the connection there. So the lights that you see there confirms that I've got connection and Can go through and select anything so I've lost the connection again so yeah so it's the cables a bit old so that's why it's starting to drop in and out as I move around but hopefully you get you get the idea it does work if you get a brand new one you would not have this issue that I have because this one's really old here we go 
then internet is coming back up. Okay, my internet connection's not there yet. There we go. Okay, that's it guys. Hope you like it. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. Thanks.